I think uh, the banking system is very sound. Uh, it's stable. The core of the banking system has a great deal of capital uh, that was put in place uh, in the wake of the 2008-2009 global financial crisis. It served us well. There were some banks uh, who were not managing their risks effectively. They failed. And uh, the president uh, took strong actions along with the Secretary of the Treasury and the banking regulators. Those actions reassured Americans their deposits are safe. The banking system is sound. But it was also important to the president that the executives at those failed banks be mm -hmm. held accountable. And uh, very important that taxpayer money not be at risk. I think one of the questions now is uh, many Americans feel like all of their deposits um, to an unlimited ceiling are going to be insured because that was what was guaranteed to these two banks and how can you not do it for the rest if it were to come to that? So we took very targeted actions in the case of two banks uh, that were poorly managed and took unacceptable risks and failed. Those were targeted actions. They were strong actions, but they were targeted on very specific risks. But does that mean should we see another bank failure in the next year, it would not be the case that all depositors are protected at every level? Yeah, so I think um, we do have, we've seen a playbook, it works very well, uh, but it is relevant for banks that fail. Um, I think more broadly, uh, there's questions uh, that may be addressed over a longer period of time, um, where I think the FDIC has taken it upon itself to do a study mm -hmm. uh, and think about more broadly, uh, should we think differently about deposit insurance, and that, that's on a slower track. Do you think there will be more bank failures this year? So I think what is important um, is uh, that banks have now seen, bank executives have seen some of the stresses um, that the two failed banks were under and they're shoring up their balance sheets and you know they are convincing um, depositors and investors alike that they have a good strategy and they are risk managing effectively. Um, if a bank is not effective in doing that, then I think um, you, know, you might still see some investors really uh, pushing harder. Um, so we'll Run. see in the months ahead. No, I think um, this is very much an individual uh, set of banks that took some unusual risks. And so I think investors are just um, you know, very attuned to those risks. And bank management know they need to show that they have viable business models. Just to put a button on that, it sounds like you're saying it is possible there could be more bank failures this year, not probable. Is that a fair assessment? So I think, um, generally speaking, I can't speak to the supervision of individual banks because I'm not in uh, the supervision uh, business. Mm -hmm. But I can say um, that, uh, generally speaking, we've seen deposit outflows stabilize. All of the indicators that one would look at have really improved over the last few weeks. So there's good reasons to think okay. that that situation has stabilized.